Hey, Kyle Sellerud here, and I'm going to show you a feature right now in market targeting for search campaigns. Now, you probably haven't seen this, um, especially if you're one of the first people to watch this video, because nobody has been talking about this. I follow all the AdWords news there is to follow. Uh, nobody has been talking about this. Google hasn't announced it. They did announce it about a year ago. It was one of those things where they said it is going to be released in the future, okay? And it's taken them this long to finally release it. And from what I've seen, it's available now in every account. And this could be a game changer, okay? Yep, I said it, a game changer. And I will tell you and show you why here in this video. So in market audiences for search campaigns. First off, uh, in market audiences have been available for a while in display campaigns. I'm not a big fan of them. Um, I don't think the data is that good. I've never really gotten them to work for display campaigns. But I think in search campaigns, there are a lot of possibilities here and these audiences could work very well, especially if the quality of Google's lists keeps improving. So an in-market audience is basically an audience of people who Google has identified is in the market for a particular product or service. So let me show you how to add these to your campaign. And then I will uh, give you a couple of my thoughts on how you might be able to utilize this feature. So to add these to a campaign, you'd go into any of your search campaigns, go to the audiences section here, and then click to add an audience. Okay, now you can set these up for a campaign or for a specific ad group. Um, I'm just going to leave it at campaign. And you can also choose whether to target the audiences or observe the audiences. Now, if you target an audience, your ads will only show to people who are in a particular audience. Um, that is going to limit your traffic quite a bit. Um, Google doesn't have a lot, about half of the, the people who use Google aren't really identified at all. So they aren't gonna be in any audiences. Plus the audiences probably aren't perfect. So if you're only targeting the audiences in a search campaign, you're going to be limiting your campaign quite a bit, but it is an option. And I'll, sh I'll tell you why we might want to use that option here shortly. Um, the other option is observation. Now this is going to add all the audiences to your campaign. Um, but it's not going to change anything. You'll still be targeting everyone. It's just going to start collecting the data for whatever audiences you've added. So down here is where we choose the audiences. It used to be you could only add uh, retargeting, or remarketing audiences to these campaigns. Actually, it, it wasn't that long ago, we couldn't even do that. So first they, they allowed us to add remarketing. Now we can add in market audiences. So you'd select this and it'll show you all the audiences. You can also search here and um, it'll, it'll give you some results that might be relevant to what you're searching for. So all of these categories here, um, there's not a ton of categories, but once you start to expand them, there are quite a, a lot of subcategories. There are hundreds of these. So what you can do, and what I'd recommend to start with, now I just noticed these about a week ago, so I can't really give you advice on how to utilize them and the best practices at this point, but here's what I am doing, okay? I'm adding all the audiences to my campaigns so I can start observing them. I wanna see if the people in these audiences, if there's any effect on the results. So I'm going to just add these main audiences. Now, let's say I have a client that does um, home repairs. Okay, so in home and garden, uh, we see some more subcategories. Uh, home improvement, we have 
these categories. So if I'm, if I'm working with a painter, for example, I might select, uh, you know, maybe all of these home and garden categories since they're uh, more relevant to what I'm doing. And then all these subcategories, okay? So let me show you what this looks like when you add all these audiences. I'm going to save. So now all my audiences are showing up here. Once we start running more traffic through this, we're going to start seeing results here. We're going to see clicks, impressions. Hey, we can add columns just like anywhere else for conversions and all that good stuff. Eventually then what I can do is see if some of these audiences are performing better or worse for this particular campaign. And then I can go here and adjust the bids. Okay, if, if a particular audience is performing well, so for a painting company, if Google's data is good, if they have a good grasp on who is in the market for painting services, well then this audience should perform pretty well, right? You think someone in that audience might be worth a little more to a painting company than someone who's not in the audience, especially if, if Google has already identified that that person is shopping around for painting services. They're closer now to the bottom of the funnel, which is a great place to capture traffic in a search campaign. So we might want to go in here and increase our bid for people in this paint category. The other thing we might want to do is, um, earlier I mentioned the targeting. Okay, not the observation, but the targeting. Maybe now I can set up an ad group. I can target people who are in the market for painting services. And then I can go in and add some broad keywords. Keywords you would never add to a search campaign normally. Maybe keywords like paint, okay, or painting. Keywords that usually, uh, you know, just too broad to really be useful to us. But if we combine that with the knowledge that Google has about the people and and combine it with the fact that they're on an in-market list, well, now we might have something. We might be able to target a lot more traffic, especially traffic nobody else is going to be targeting because, look, it's May 21st. If you're one of the first people watching this video, you're going to be one of the first people using this feature because, like I said, nobody has been talking about this, okay, even years from now, most people probably still aren't going to be using it. So if you are utilizing this information, you're going to be way ahead of everyone. So that's all I'm going to get into now. I know there's a lot more depth we could get into with these, um, especially once I get in here, do some more testing of my own. Um, Typically, this is probably just the kind of thing I'll share with my mastermind group. Um, so don't expect another video from me on the in-market stuff. Um, but I wanted to at least come show you how to set it up okay, and what some of the possibilities are. So that said, uh, let me just invite you to subscribe to my channel here if you like what you see and want to hear more from me. And I will talk to you later.